these eight bolts from this leg. Five millimeter wrench right now to take the, the leg apart to get the eight bolts out. Give me. Give me. I got it. So the, the leg, leg is gone. You go to put the new casters in, you want to make sure that they are in. You don't want it to roll like that. You want to make sure that that caster is in the brake position and that whenever it's in the brake position that this goes forward to put it in the brake position and then pull it back. You just want to make sure that you have it where when you go to brake it, it goes towards the lifter itself. So that's really important because you don't want to have them vice versa. Slide it in here. Put the screws back in. It's a number five wrench. I think we mentioned that already. See how it's in the brake position and I have the brake rod this way? It's what you want to make sure that it's like that on both legs. Put the screws back in. And you've seen how you're changing both legs. What I would do is I would not put the brake rod back in until I've changed the other caster. After you put the other brake in, or other caster in, you're going to want to tighten all your bolts up so that both legs are low. Now in this case, all you really have to do is loosen these like this. Sure it's in the brake position. That the brake is 
this way. You can do that by testing it. You just want to make sure that the brake rod goes forward to lock it. Both these wheels are locked, so I know that the brake rod goes this way. Fill it up. You can pull this. Can we tilt it up? Got to loosen it. Make sure it seats in that really well. Bolts back in, and you're done.